Welcome everyone, this is Mark Ringo, Business Account Manager at FileMaker, and I'm your host for today's Getting Rid of Paper-Based Process web seminar, where you will learn how FileMaker's customers like Austin Convention Center and Kohl's Department Stores have leveraged FileMaker Go to replace paper. But before we get started, I have some brief housekeeping notes. For best experience, we strongly recommend that you participate in this web seminar with at least a broadband connection. If you have any problems or require online assistance at any time, please contact Citrix Technical Support at 888-259-8414. Again, that number is 888-259-8414. During today's presentation, you'll have an opportunity to type in questions. Let's talk briefly about how to enter a question. Go to the control panel and click on the question section to reveal the question section and enter your question and send. We will cover as many questions as time allows at the end of our presentation. The FileMaker Business Productivity Platform is not just one product. It is a group of products and technologies that all work together. With the FileMaker platform, you can create custom business solutions on Windows and Mac with FileMaker Pro and FileMaker Pro Advanced. FileMaker Pro is our flagship product and it's what you use to build solutions. However, if you build solutions for a team of people, you'll want to use FileMaker Pro Advanced, which comes with power tools such as Script Debugger, the Data Viewer, the Data Design Report, and also allows for custom menus and much more. FileMaker Server is the hub of any successful FileMaker deployment, which allows you to host your FileMaker solution and provides automatic backups and remote administration. And you'll need FileMaker Server to use our new FileMaker WebDirect, which is breakthrough web technology that runs custom business solutions directly in a web browser on a desktop or laptop, with no web development school skills required. FileMaker Go brings your FileMaker solutions to your teams on iPads, iPhones, and iPod Touch devices. All your FileMaker solutions created with FileMaker Pro will simply work on these mobile devices. And best of all, FileMaker Go 13 is free on the App Store. Here are just some of the benefits of using the FileMaker Go mobile application. But what if you could instantly update your current inventory levels from the warehouse while, while scanning barcodes? What if you could capture digital signatures to close sales deals on the road? What if you could collect research data, including photos and audio files, in the field? What if you could swipe through patients' medical records in the emergency room? And what if you could conduct teacher evaluations in the classroom? These are just some of the business use cases our customers are using today with FileMaker Go on the iPad. Many of those customers have gotten rid of paper for various reasons. Um, it's hard to share with remote workers. Paper can be obsolete as far as the information or data on it. And with paper, your process more times than that is very, very manual. The data is not secure. You're going to have multiple versions of the truth floating around your organization, and storage of this can be very costly. Our first customer success story today is Austin Convention Center. The Convention Center transformed paper-based service order forms, work orders, and floor diagrams into a mobile application that provides a mobile, mobile workforce the ability to view, process and reference event information across the facility that spans six city blocks. Before the convention center was using FileMaker Go, the exhibitor's work orders were based solely on faxes and paper. The orders were keyed into a system, printed out and placed into a binder with diagrams and other paperwork to start deployment or fulfill changes. This process was very manual and costing them a lot of time and heartache. Since moving over to FileMaker Go on the iPad, 
They've gained a lot of success. Good news is they were already using FileMaker Pro as their billing system, so they could leverage the skill set that they already learned with FileMaker, now with FileMaker Go. They very quickly designed work order forms on the iPad. Employees now have real-time access to work orders, change orders, and floor diagrams, and easy-to-use touch interface on the iPad. This led to fewer errors, faster installs, and increased customer satisfaction at the convention center. But more importantly, though, they had a compelling return on investment. With FileMaker Go for iPad, the project payback was less than four months with an annual ROI of over 200%. Estimated annual cost savings was $24,000. At this point in the webinar, I want to introduce one of our number one partners. These folks are Platinum Partner. It's a company called iSolutions. And let me introduce Chris Ippolite and Eden Morris. They're going to bring us through a couple business use cases for the iPad. Thanks, Mark. Really appreciate this opportunity, and we're looking forward to showing you guys um, a couple of different demos that we've got from uh, some clients where we've uh, taken them out of paper and manual processes into uh, FileMaker Go-based applications. But before we do that, uh, we, uh, we'll just take a very quick second here before we get into the fun stuff to tell you guys a little bit about iSolutions, um, and I'll move through this very quickly. But um, we're founded in 1997. Uh, as Mark mentioned, we're a FileMaker Platinum Partner member. Uh, we proudly have been working for clients of all sizes and industries since 1997 and really appreciate our uh, relationship with FileMaker. We've got offices in both Los Angeles and Chicago where we provide project management, development, and even FileMaker training for companies using FileMaker um, and actually have some uh, FileMaker training videos up on lynda.com in case any of you guys are familiar with that. Uh, we'd certainly urge you to uh, visit our website isolutions-inc.com for uh, dozens more examples of projects just like this that we've created for our clients and many of the clients that you see here on screen. Additionally, if you're new to FileMaker, I urge you to check out www.filemakerforbeginners.com where you can get access to free, a couple of really uh, substantial free resources for learning FileMaker and even FileMaker Go if you're new to the product line. So today, we're going to uh, show you a couple of demos, the first of which is um, a application that we created for a client of ours, uh, which is Kohl's Department Store. For those of you not familiar, Kohl's Corporation is a Wisconsin-based department store chain who'd actually been using FileMaker internally for their store planning tasks before they uh, came to us with this project. So they've already been using FileMaker, got FileMaker in the conversation, but not in it wasn't until uh, their store environment and development division had reached out to us to see if maybe FileMaker could be a good fit for a project that they needed done for store construction. Now this project had a unique challenge to it. First of all, they had already tried building a solution for this project in, as a web app and uh, that project took them most of the year and exhausted most of their budget and with only five weeks left before their deadline they had to scrap the web app idea and go another direction so they started trying to look for other alternatives and, and the Kohl's construction folks needed something that could manage the building projects of all the new stores and modifications to the stores that they've got there's actually 1100 of these stores in the US so it's a pretty big project they needed a system to be able to track the work performed in the field and then centralize some of this information uh, in the form of the feedback that independent contractors are gathering out in the field so that they could make it possible for them to strategize and aggregate live updates in a more reliable manner than they were doing already. What they were doing currently, which certainly was inefficient, was that these independent contractors who were out helping them, you know, like project manage uh, building tasks uh, out at these uh, job sites, were collecting updates on paper, tr transcribing them into Excel, and then eventually emailing all sorts of different Excel files back to the administrators at uh, Kohl's headquarters so that they could merge them into one Excel document simply so that they could then do reports and charts and uh, report on things and, and kind of get some strategic visibility on this data. That, of course, was grossly inefficient for them, and they needed a better solution. But they only had five weeks to build and deploy this solution. They needed a system where these mobile contractors could collect and sync the data from the field on iPads, even where the internet was not available. 
and they needed to be able to have this access from throughout the United States. So what we were able to do for them after suggesting FileMaker as a solution here is we suggested that they go with a FileMaker Go based application that would speak to a uh, consolidated database on the FileMaker server side. So within just five weeks uh, and with only one developer who you're going to meet here in a second, iSolutions was able to build a FileMaker based database that allowed 35 plus independent contractors to collect data via their iPads at construction sites all over the US and then sync that data back to a centralized database for in-house analysis and project status updates. Then the administrators back at, at corporate could view and create reports based on the data that's collected and make all sorts of very important strategic decisions. To do this, we employed a combination of FileMaker Pro, FileMaker Server, and FileMaker Go products all together in, including the database that we created custom here that we're going to show you. So let's take a look at the files that we created in this brief demonstration. Um, and, and first I'd like to introduce you to the author of this database, Eden Morris. Eden? Thanks Chris. Um, all right, jumping right into the demo, what we're looking at right here is uh, the server interface uh, that anyone in the company um, with internet or VPN access uh, has access to via FileMaker Pro. Uh, a very simple interface where they can manage the contractors and the stores that are involved in the projects and uh, via that we're able to give each contractor and store the various projects they need to work on and push them out to the iPad. If we go into this section right here, this will be a uh, this would be a list of all the projects that uh, they can manage. We have this practice project right here, so we'll go into it, and we see all of um, all of the details um, as as far as you know, giving a name and the date and seeing the the current status. Over on the right, we have uh, the report section, which we'll come back to. And inside here, we're able to see all the questions that are part of um, part of the project, and we're able to generally see which ones have been answered and how far along they are. Now, if we go back to this and take a look at the iPad, this is the other component where we are able to connect to the server and pull down all the information that we need for our um, our projects and once we've uh, done syncing usually they do that at the beginning of the day they can take their iPad and not have to worry about a data connection to the server so that they can uh, do their job and fill out all the questions. Once, once that happens I can go into the project section right here I can see that same project I'm going to click on it it's going to say are you sure you want to go in there and there's all my questions with all kinds of visual cues as far as how far along I am. So let's go into a section that hasn't been answered. We'll go to the first question and we'll just mark it complete and that's all we have to do. If we go to the next one down here at the bottom I'm going to mark this one as incomplete. Then it's going to ask me what's the reason for it. So I'm going to click one right here. Now the interface changes and based on these red uh, asterisks it, it tells me which pieces of information are required. If I choose a different reason those are going to change because based on the reason I want different pieces of information to be gathered. So I'm going to put in a piece of information right here. and then I'm going to add a picture and from this menu we, we're, we're going to add a, a picture but we could also record audio, we can um, take a, a picture with our camera or we can add something from our photo library, uh, we can add whatever kind of file is on the device or we could add a signature. So from here we're just going to add a photo and this is a picture of the, the job scene so that when somebody back in the uh, central office wants to see the status of this they can 
see this picture and see exactly what's going on and understand without having to uh, read through lengthy information that, that may or may not make sense. So with those two questions answered, I'm going to go back to the question list. You can see that the first question has a check mark and the other one is not resolved yet. Now we're going to go back to the server. Oh, we are going to go to the home. And so it's now the end of the day. I have an internet connection and I'm going to sync back to the central office. So I'm going to hit this sync button over here on the right. It's going to take me to the syncing status. It lets me know what's going on. And then when it's all done, it lets me know that there were no errors. So if we now go back and to the server I interface. Mention, I should mention there, uh, Eden in our uh, syncing interface, um, this is something that uh, is, is commonly requested in FileMaker Go uh, client server applications where you can have a database on FileMaker Go that does not need to be persistently connected to your server. Of course, you could do either one, but um, in case those that are, are listening don't know, you can either have a file that lives on your iPad at locally, we like to call it, or one that is on a, a remote server somewhere that you can connect to. In this case, the one that Eden was just demonstrating lives on the client's iPad locally, but then it connects to the FileMaker server. So. Um, in this case, what we did is we built in our own syncing uh, script is what's happening there that, amongst other things, employs uh, importing and a lot of uh, time uh, or transaction management and time stamping and whatnot. But what we didn't have to do here was use a third-party tool. There are a lot of third-party products out there that are great, uh, but we decided to save our clients some money and to build this in natively right in using FileMaker's uh, scripting uh, tools and uh, that's something that we we built into both of these both of these demos that you're going to be seeing here in a second. Uh, but just for whatever it's worth, you can build in uh, syncing natively uh, to into your FileMaker Go application. So with that said, um, I'll pass it back to Eden to kind of show you what happens on the server side after a sync is completed. Thanks, Chris. Uh, so we're 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 back into the project details, and if I go into the questions and Remember, we, we, we answered questions in, you know what? Cosmetics. Was it? Yes, it was. So, so, so these, these top two questions are now shown as answered, and I am able to see that it's complete. And all of this is done uh, pre previous to this. All of this was ha had to be handwritten out in narratives and then transcribed into Excel documents that needed to be emailed over. And they weren't able to really manage pictures appropriately. They would actually take pictures on a digital camera, plug them into their computer, try to upload all these images and these naming conventions to attach everything. It was a mess. And they really weren't able to get the data in, in uh, efficiently enough to be able to do any strategic thinking with it. So here, you know, by the end of every day, and quite frankly, they could require them to do it on the hour if they if they had access to it. But of course, because of construction sites, they don't always have Wi-Fi. But when they do get uh, the ability to sync back, all this information from all the different projects is back into this one server-side database that uh, allows the administrators to do all this uh, strategic thinking, in addition to doing some reporting on this data as well. Yeah, absolutely. And over here on the right, they're able to get easy access to all the reports. Uh, to give them as much visibility as possible on the project. And what this does is it will run the report and then save them as a PDF so that they can distribute them um, to whoever they need to via email. And as far as some examples of those, um, we have right here. So this is one that shows them um, the distribution of the answers by type. We have a pie chart with um, the various uh, reasons that each uh, question is answered. And we also have it distributed by um, the various departments within the store so they can find out that if a certain department has a, um, a lot of issues, they, they, they can focus on that and they know who to contact uh, in order to get that resolved as quickly as possible.
And in all of these cases, we were able to use FileMaker's native charting tool. And so, I mean, they're very pretty simple uh, charts here, but FileMaker's got some really neat uh, charts built in right into the product so that instead of having to export stuff out into Excel, for example, which is what this client used to be doing, they can just have the data stored in the centralized database and generate charts uh, as they need them, or even just look in to see charts with live information right inside the database. We also used FileMaker's native ability to uh, save as PDF for not only uh, generating these for sharing, but you can also attach them to an email dynamically as well. Um, so, this, so really, in short, what this enabled the client to do is collect data out in the field and, and, and as, as quickly as they would like to have the data updated, push it back through a FileMaker sync from the iPads back to their centralized FileMaker server, allowing the administrators to, administrators to look at this and report on it and, again, make strategic decisions. And after 18 months, of, 18 months of success with this solution, to date, uh, Kohl's is planning on continuing this project further by allowing other departments that also need store information to connect to this database that's on their same FileMaker server and, in, and interchange data between all those different applications that they're using. So they have other departments that are going to be able to benefit from data that's being collected in the field. So not only were they able to build an app-like experience on iPads using FileMaker Go, but they're able to replace some of the obvious inefficiencies of the paper and Excel-based processes with a centralized and scalable database system that allows syncing and sophisticated reporting and sharing, all by choosing FileMaker for this task. Now, we'd also like to show you, uh, with a couple minutes that we've got here, another example of a FileMaker solution that uses FileMaker Go uh, on the iPad to connect to a centralized database. And uh, in this case, uh, what it is is a client that is a surgical supply company who has a sales force that's uh, out in the field um, all throughout the United States. And prior to this solution, they had uh, just sent salespeople out into the field, uh, placing orders that they would hand write onto a paper form. And then at some point, they would get back to their office or, or hotel or whatever and actually fax these forms over, over, and they would then need to be transcribed into an order system. And amongst other inefficiencies with that process I just described, they were sometimes placing orders for products that they didn't even have an inventory of. And they had to then reconcile those with the customers later at great cost to them internally. So our FileMaker-based system provides them live inventory updates to, into the field when needed. And then FileMaker Go users who are traveling throughout the United States can not only centralize their data, but connect users to an SAP backend system using the FileMaker server product. So I'm going to pass it back over to Eden to show you a demonstration of uh, this system that we built for FileMaker Go. Eden? Thanks. So this is uh, the, the client uh, that, that runs on the iPad, and uh, we have it broken up into three sections. On the left-hand side, we have uh, the various buttons uh, so that a person out on the field can order parts to, uh, to, to have uh, in order to sell, and uh, those, uh, those orders get synchronized back to the server and uh, then also get sent back into the SAP database so that they get their parts as quickly as possible. And that uses uh, FileMaker's native external SQL sources feature, if anyone's interested in learning more about how that works. Yes. And um, along with that, we use that same technology to make sure that whenever we're making new sales orders, uh, that, the, that the parts that they end up putting on sales orders to sell, they actually have that in inventory so they do not accidentally put the wrong parts on, on orders and uh, cause all kinds of um, uh, unnecessary uh, labor in order to uh, fix those and then contact the customer and uh, it saves the customer a lot of time. Now the, the demonstration that we're going to do is the ability to make a new sales order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this top right button that says new sales order and we have all of the information that is relevant only to this uh, one salesperson and I just have to click through each thing and very efficiently fill in uh, the information. And we're able to do that because FileMaker has its own accounts and privileges uh, features that allow us to build in uh, uh, accounts for use people to log in, not only to restrict them from seeing certain pieces of information, but also to identify who they are so we can present a dynamic experience on screen for them like Eden's showing you now. Absolutely. Um, now once I have all of this, uh, this information filled out, uh, I'm going to click on Assign Sets down here, which is where I order my parts. And I click on a section, 
and I'm just going to select a few parts and click create line items. Those are now added in with the appropriate prices that are for that specific client that I'm selling to. I have some checkboxes uh, in order to make sure um, that, that, that the various things are filled out appropriately. Down at the bottom right, I have the signature. And what's nice about this is, uh, unlike whenever I was adding a file uh, to the Coles project, all I have to do is tap once on the signature. It knows that I want to do a signature. I click Agree, and that's when you hand it to the, um, the surgeon, and they, they, have to do, they, they can do a signature. There's no extra steps. It's just we um, take the signature and go back. So we're able to have that kind of granularity and control when we're adding files to a container field. Over here on the left-hand side, I'm now going to do the same thing where I'm inserting a patient sticker, and it gives me these options. So I'm going to go in, add a photo, and there's a picture of a, a patient sticker right there. Now this is all filled out after looking at the things that are um, highlighted yellow. I, I know that I filled out all the um, required information. I'm going to click on finalize order. And this is what the PDF that gets emailed back to the central office uh, is going to look like. And uh, all I have to do is click on email and it verifies, yes, I want to do this saves it as a PDF, and then attaches it to the sales order. I can add some extra notes. Um, I can uh, 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 CC it to other people. And what you see down here is a preview of the actual PDF that's attached to the sales order, or uh, attached to the email. So I'm going to actually cancel this. And then after I've, I'm done with the, the email, it's automatically syncing all my changes and so now all the information that I have uh, entered in for the sales order is now sitting back at the FileMaker server for them to go over and uh, it, it also in the background will then synchronize with the SAP system via FileMaker server's uh, external SQL sources and uh, automatically generate the sales order and if there are any problems it will then send information back to uh, the FileMaker server so that they can make any changes that they need. Thanks, Eli. Right, um, yeah, so this client, as you can see, is able to use a combination of FileMaker server and FileMaker Go to connect live to SAP on the back end using the external SQL sources we've been mentioning. And then FileMaker Go is on the iPad allowing people out in the field to uh, inexpensively and easily manage all the sales orders in the field all throughout the United States. So FileMaker, as you can see, uh, plays a big role here in this process and continues to play an important role within this organization by providing a front end to their SAP back end system in a, in a way that uh, would you know, cost 10, 15, 20 times this if they were to try to build a customized app. So FileMaker's ability to be able to be changed on the fly, to create something for the iPads inexpensively, has really allowed uh, this particular client to build something very app-like uh, and deploy it on FileMaker Go, thus replacing their old antiquated uh, paper forms and fax uh, process from uh, their previous version or the previous uh, systems that they were working with. Appreciate uh, you guys letting us uh, show this stuff uh, to us. Please, uh, by any means, if anybody's got any questions, we'd be happy to answer them. I'm going to pass it back over to Mark, though, uh, at this part of the discussion. Thank you, Chris. Eden, uh, great job with the uh, demonstrations of uh, two very great uh, FileMaker customers. Uh, on my screen now, I've got a, uh, a summary here of FileMaker Training Series Basics. This is something that is new on our website. For the folks on the call today that are, are new to FileMaker and you want to learn a little bit more and you like what you saw today, definitely go out to this link right here. And this is a free download of training that we're offering right now. And um, I uh, offer this out to a lot of my new um, FileMaker customers and they really enjoy the training. You can download it you know, to your desktop or laptop as well.
here's another great uh, couple of great links uh, to the FileMaker website. The first one is FileMaker Go 13. Once again, that is a free download from the App Store. So if you've got iOS devices, iPhone, iPad, definitely take advantage of that. Nice thing about FileMaker Go 13, it does come with a couple starter solutions that you could play with right on your mobile device. Another link for customer success stories, in fact, the one I talked about at the beginning, the Austin Convention Center, they've got an in-depth um, success story right up with a video as well. So you'll get an opportunity to kind of see more of that solution um, in the demonstration on the video. And of course, we've got web seminars um, on a regular basis here at FileMaker on different types of topics. Um, please go look at that as well. It's always, we're always updating with new information and new topics. And then finally, another link for training resources. Once again, if you like what you saw today and want to learn a little bit more, there's some good training options out there um, for the FileMaker platform. At this point, I think what we're going to do is go into a couple of our, our questions uh, that people have typed in. And I will uh, start with the first one. How did iSolution sync data between FileMaker server and the FileMaker Go clients? Uh, it, it, it's a good question. Um, it's uh, a common uh, challenge and need in a lot of FileMaker Go you know, client server applications. We chose to not go the route of third-party plugins uh, because we like to keep everything under our control and native in FileMaker. And uh, without going into the minutia of it, what we're able to do here is build in a very sophisticated uh, series of scripts that really lean on the importing features built right into FileMaker. So we're importing from one direction to the other, kind of pushing and pulling data back and forth, identifying which records have changed through a, a series of calculations, again, built natively into FileMaker, deciding what stuff has changed on each side, and then pushing it back to, in the other direction. And it, it's two-way in that case. Um, so suffice to say, you can use FileMaker's native scripting uh, and calculation engines to be able to build in this uh, two-way syncing into your FileMaker Go applications. Thanks, Chris. Next question, do I still need to use plugins for barcode scanning in FileMaker Go? Well, let me answer that, and then I'll pass it over to Chris for uh, more insight on the answer. But in FileMaker Go 13, um, we've got barcode scanning built into the product, leveraging the camera of the iPhone or the iPad. Chris, why don't you go ahead and give a little bit more detail on how some of your customers are leveraging scanning. Yeah, this is uh, this sort of dovetails into what we were talking about before. We here at our organizations like to try to get FileMaker to be able to do things natively rather than use plugins. Uh, there had been some plugins for barcode scanning, which not only involved getting the software to speak with software, you know, in previous versions, but also having to get hardware involved and even signature capture pads and stuff like that. But now in, in Go 13, which we're very excited about when this got released, all you have to do is just set up a field, check a little box when you're in FileMaker Pro uh, on the field in your layout, and it will invoke the camera, the native camera, either on your I, iPhone, iPod Touch, or the iPad, and you simply take a picture, and within a second, it then scans that as a barcode. And not only that, it's got support for QR codes and I think a dozen and a half different uh, uh, barcode formats natively built into FileMaker. So we're able to use it for things like uh, doing inventory tracking, even identifying different uh, workstations by scanning barcodes, uh, do check-in systems. We've been doing all this type of stuff uh, the hard way in the past, and now all you have to do is do a little checkbox and check out the barcode scanning. If you guys want to check it out for yourself, if you go ahead and download um, FileMaker Go on your iPad or iPhone, check out a uh, one of the starter solutions that ships with FileMaker Go called Assets. And in the asset file, there's a, a, a layout that has a little barcode icon next to one of the fields that lets you just kind of uh, click on it and then go ahead and scan barcodes on anything you got laying around the office and you'll see that it captures that numeric value within a split second really of uh, the camera being invoked. So it's a really exciting thing to not only allow you to be able to scan barcodes but initiate searches based on those barcode values and do all sorts of really sophisticated stuff without needing plugins and more importantly without needing any third-party hardware to be able to do the barcode scanning. Thanks, Chris. Next question. 
So a salesman emails an order back to administration. How does administration get notified that something has occurred? Does FileMaker tie into a notification system on the OS? Well, that's an interesting question. Um, what we leverage for notification purposes is the email functionality in FileMaker. Eden showed you a great example of invoking the, the email client on the iOS to actually be able to send something off. But what we use for notification purposes is the back end, what's called SMTP option, which means that we can have the FileMaker database back on the server even automatically send emails to individuals saying, hey, by the way, your uh, inventory levels have dropped below your reorder amount, or hey, uh, so-and-so, click here on this link that'll take you right into the FileMaker layout that shows all the sales orders that have been added since the last sync. Um, so really what we use is uh, the, e the, the built-in email, and not necessarily the client, but just things that are triggered through scripts uh, e either in the FileMaker Pro client or on the server side that allow us to notify different users uh, and that we use that in conjunction with either um, attachments that allow people to log right into the database or even links that allow people to go right into the database, the record and the actual uh, records and questions. We, we use a combination of all those native technologies in FileMaker Go and in Pro uh, to be able to do all that uh, sophisticated notification. Thanks Chris. Next question. Can I use FileMaker Go to edit layouts of the solution? So at the beginning we talked about the FileMaker um, platform and there's two client products that are used for editing layouts. That's FileMaker Pro or FileMaker Pro Advanced. Those are the two solutions that you would use to edit any of your layouts. Um, FileMaker Go, think of that as a window into your data, both for consumption purposes, but also for write-back purposes. The ability to, you know, change notes or update notes, take photos, signature capture, capture video, things like that. That is all the questions that we have today. I just wanted to uh, thank everybody that uh, joined us today and also the folks from iSolutions for participating. Thank you again and have a great day.